what is going on guys? I am Black Ops Amazing. Welcome back to another zombies video on the channel where today we are going to be taking a closer look at the brand new trailer for Black Ops 4 that we got yesterday. It showed footage and gameplay of both zombies maps, IX and Voyage of Despair. And so since I didn't get time to do it yesterday, however the full trailer is on my channel if you want to check it out. And also it's better because now I've had time to gather as much information as I can. We're going to take a look at this, break it down and see what interesting things we can find out about our new zombies maps make sure that you are subscribed to stay up to date with the latest zombies content on the channel if you enjoyed the video by the end a like rating would be appreciated but without further ado let's get into it here we go. So we start off this trailer on Voyage of Despair. We know that this map is set on the Titanic on the day that it sunk, which was the 15th of April, 1912. And this is where we get one of our first little bits of story information from our characters. Just like the premise characters did in our Ether storyline, Scarlet, Diego, Bruno and Shaw have a conversation and they reveal to us a little bit about why they are here. We learn that they're on a mission to find Scarlet's father. He's been missing for 15 years and so the characters are here to try and find out where he could have gone and the reason why Bruno, Diego and Shaw are helping Scarlet to find her father is because he helped them. In some way her father helped all of these guys out and so they owe it to him to try and find him. Scarlet tells us that as a kid her father would tell her stories that she would believe but as an adult she wouldn't believe them so she makes it sound like her father has something to do with this. He has something to do with this artifact. He told her stories about this ancient order, black magic, and everything that we see going on in our zombies maps. And now that Scarlet's seen it happen for herself, she believes him and is so on a mission to find him. That's pretty much all we know about the story so far. However, getting back to the trailer, so you can see we kick off on the deck of the Titanic. Around here, there are a couple of weapons on the wall. One specifically is a pistol, so we can assume that the deck is the starting area. You can see right in the background here, there is a statue. We've seen quite a few different statues already in Zombies. We have Danu, who was an Irish goddess. We've also seen Zeus, who was a Greek god, and Odin, who was a Norse god. We think that these statues could be on new perks whereas we buy them and we get the abilities of the gods so for example zeus could give us electric cherry Danu could be something to do with healing and since she's in the starting area she could be quick revive that would make sense and odin could be something like juggernaut since he's the all-powerful god however as i'll explain later on in the trailer i actually think they might mean something else and they're really not perks. But if they are, well, Dana was in what looks to be the starting area, so potentially she could be quick revive. We can also see in the background there is debris. It's a usual thing we have on our zombies maps in which we have to pay points for in order to remove. I don't know if that's how it's going to work on our new storyline. Are we going to have points? Is it going to be a new system that we use to remove debris? I can't remember off the top of my head, but I believe it is going to be different. And you can also see around here there is this blue glow, which you can see around the wall weapons as well. But we'll get a better look at that later on in the trailer and also by the way i'm not going to show all of it due to copyright as i said if you want to check out the full trailer links in the description i'm just going to show all of the interesting parts that we can get stuff from but as we move on through the trailer we just get more shots of the titanic nothing too interesting but it does show how beautiful this map is the decor the detail looks freaking awesome as i'm sure you guys will know maps that are based off real life things and events places are always my favorite and always seem to do really well especially mob of the dead derizen dracker so so hopefully one that is based off the Titanic. I don't know, I just get a feeling that this is going to be a fan favourite. We then come across a new statue that we haven't seen yet. You can clearly tell this one is Egyptian. And this statue, which we will see later on in the trailer, looks to be the Egyptian sun god, Ra. Ra was merged with the major state god Horus. You can see they look very similar, but you can tell the difference between them because Ra has a sun disc on his head since he's the god of the sun, whereas Horus has a Persian. I'm not exactly sure if that's how you pronounce that, but that's how you can tell the difference. And if you look on the head of this statue, there is fire behind it. So I would assume this is Ra, not Horus. He has the head of a falcon and the sun disc on his head is actually resting inside of a cobra. So just keep those two animals in mind, a falcon and a cobra, as they will relate to something later on in the trailer. But if these statues are perks, what exactly would Ra be? Something related to fire or the sun? I'm not really sure. Maybe that could be a new perk. Double tap maybe? I could only say that because it was orange. But I'm not sure about that one. Let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. But as we keep going, we then see another statue, which is Danu. We've seen her 
her before. She is an Irish goddess, I believe. She had something to do with water. But a lot of people have also been saying nature as well. I guess that could come into it. But we are on the Titanic surrounded by water, so I'm not really too sure what she could be. As we keep going through the trailer, we see some shots that we've seen previously from E3. We have this guy on the Titanic that we've seen before. We know he's here to steal the artifact. He does manage to steal it. However, our characters stop him, but before we can take it off him, he uses it to infect the ship, turning everyone on it into zombies. It spreads this black plague around the ship, infecting everyone on it. As we move on, we get some cool shots of our characters killing the zombies. We can see on the steering wheel of the Titanic, this black plague has infected the whole ship. It's beginning to take it over. We still don't exactly know what this is and how it works, but we do know that the Titanic does manage to crash into the iceberg, so maybe part of the Easter egg is us saving it. Can we change history? We see more shots of this black plague. I really don't know what else to call it right now, but this is the thing that infects people and turns them into the undead. As we move on, we then see another statue. This time, it is clearly Zeus, a Greek god. He's holding his classic lightning bolt, all over his statue, there are alchemy symbols. I'm thinking since he's to do with electricity, he could be electric cherry maybe. Like I said, that is if they are perks. What we then see is the mystery box. We kind of thought that this is what it was from our previous trailers, but this time we actually get to see weapons coming out of it. It looks freaking cool. There's skulls with blue glowing eyes all over it. And Scarlet gets some kind of new SMG out of it. But we then go on to our next shot and it looks like she's holding some special type of weapon. In her left hand, there is like some kind of blundergat. At least that's what it reminds me of from Mob of the Dead. It's like a really powerful one-shot kill shotgun that kills loads of zombies at once. And then in her right hand is a sword. We've been told by Treyarch that we are going to get special weapons in zombies. That was really all the details we had, but it seems like there are four special weapons. This is one of them, and the other three we're going to see later on in the trailer. We keep going, we get some nice shots of the characters killing the zombies. We have Diego here killing them with some kind of fire weapon, or laser a weapon. I don't really know what this is. We then go further down and we can see the Titanic is already partly underwater. It's already hit the iceberg. It is sinking. So just like Zetsubo, underwater zombies confirmed. I don't know about you guys, but for me, that wasn't really too enjoyable in Zetsubo no Shima. However, in that map, it was more of a challenge. So if it's just naturally part of the map, part of the gameplay, then it could be a little bit more fun than it was in Zetsubo. And this also got me thinking, well, what if as time goes by as we go on throughout the rounds and the more the Titanic begins to sink deeper under the water. Well, does that mean the water in this map will rise? Will it eventually reach the top of the deck, meaning most of this map is swimmable? I don't know. Here we get a closer shot at our new wall weapons, or at least what they look like now. It's totally different to how it was in our old storyline. There is this blue glow around it with symbols on it as well. I don't know why it's like this. Does this have a meaning or not possibly, but it looks cool. And you can also see one of our characters holding a Molotov, lighting it up and throwing it. So that's a cool way to kill the zombies. As we keep going, we see, oh god, this creature that we saw in IX is also in Voyage of Despair as well. It looks like it randomly spawns out of zombies. I don't exactly know how this is going to work, but it could be like the Thrashers in Zetsubo, whereas first off, they are normal zombies walking around, and if they just happen to wander into the little spores, the orange ones that are on the map, if they go into that dust, eventually they transform into Thrashers. So maybe it's something like that. If the normal zombies happen to walk into something, I don't know what, then they turn into these. We don't have names for them yet. Whether Treyarch are going to give us names or we have to make ones up for ourselves, I don't know. But these things look pretty scary. And we then see one of our characters pull out this staff. They place it on the ground. It seems to act like some kind of shield. Either the zombies can't come inside of it, or if they can, it slows them down drastically. However, we can see that this big creature can definitely come inside. So it's going to be interesting to see exactly how this weapon is going to work. But the staff is the second special weapon in zombies. So, so far, we have the sword and the staff. And we can then see it teleports us to a different map, a different time and location in IX. Now, I don't know if this is how it's going to work in game. If we can use this staff to teleport from one map to another, that would be interesting. Or whether this is just a transitional editing effect they've used for the video, I don't know. That, to me, would make the most sense. I can't really see us being able to teleport between maps, but that would be interesting. And we can see our characters are now now in 9, which is a gladiator arena in what we believe to be ancient 
Greece during the Roman rule. There are loads of shots that we've seen before with these mass figures, these people in the crowd. You can see again, we have these statues of our gods. Right here is Zeus sitting on the temple. However, this time he isn't on or activated. He doesn't have his lightning bolt in his hand. Here we get to see the third special weapon in zombies, which is the hammer. This one belongs to Bruno. You can see it has an electricity effect on it. There's also symbols on the front. I am going to come back to these special weapons at the end of the video. So just keep that one in mind but it does look really powerful we can see our characters going through shots killing the zombies and then released out of the cage there is a tiger and in fact that's not just one there are multiple and so i think this is going to be our new hellhound just like we had the dogs round in our ether storyline well replacing them looks like it's going to be zombified tigers we then have on the floor a shot of diego reviving bruno so that's pretty funny he's on the floor down shooting a pistol as the tigers come to attack him we have scarlet shooting one of the new weapons and then we have more shots of this map this time not just in the gladiator arena but we can also go inside as well there's more wall weapons and here we see our fourth and final special weapon which is the harpoon and disc that belongs to diego it's got this purple effect to it one of them you throw and the other one is used as a melee weapon you can also see in the background we have the statues of our gods again we have Danu returning on ix along with Ra. and i just find it strange that we've only seen four god statues in zombies and we have four special weapons i think there's a link there but i'll talk about that in just a second so as our characters move on through the map to the final stages we get to this area where we see what looks like the boss zombie of this map this guy looks freaking massive he's got an axe in his hand that he can throw he looks like he's going to be a pain in the ass there's kind of like this mechanism in the middle of this room there are symbols all over the place there's this blue glow above it as well i know a lot of people have been saying that this could be the pack of punch system but i mean we really have no idea what it's going to look like or how the pack a punch is even going to work in our new story so it could be but i'm not saying anything and then it finally cuts off with our characters having a shootout with the boss on this map so there we go that is the full trailer however i just want to quickly go back and talk about these special weapons again because like i said it's strange that we have four special weapons and we've only seen four god statues on the map well i'm thinking that actually maybe they're not perks and the gods are the ones that give us our special weapons maybe we bring gifts for the gods or do challenges for them and in return they reward us with these special weapons and that's how we obtain them if we go back to the first special weapon that we saw which was the sword that actually belongs to Shaw, you can see it's got this green effect to it whenever you kill the zombies also the way it comes in kind of looks like leaves it's got this green glow on it the god that this most reminds me of is Danu, the Irish goddess. Obviously, with the green and the leaf effect to the sword, fits Danu. So maybe this is the special weapon that she gives us. The second special weapon that we saw was the staff. And again, if you take a look at it, first off, it's clearly got an orange effect to it. This fire orb, which looks strangely like the sun in the middle of it. It's also got a cobra and an falcon on it as well. And a cobra and a falcon are part of the sun and head of Ra. So this could be the special weapon that the Egyptian god Ra gives us. We do a challenge, a gathering for him, something like that. I'm not sure. And he gives us the staff as a special weapon. We then, of course, had the hammer, which belongs to Bruno. You can see this has got an electricity effect to it. It's also got this weird symbol pattern on the front. Now, the only two gods we have left are Odin and Zeus, which are actually quite similar. However, this hammer reminds me a lot of Thor, who was also a Norse god. Thor was the son of Odin. I couldn't find this exact symbol. However, if you just put in thor on google you can find ones that are similar like this if you guys know exactly what this symbol is let me know in the comment section below and also if you just put in odin symbol you can find patterns that are very similar so i believe this hammer is given to us by thor's father odin the norse god and then the final special weapon that we see belongs to diego it is a harpoon and disc and the only god we have left is Zeus. This one for me is the only one that doesn't really seem to match up. It is a little bit strange. I personally couldn't really connect this one to Zeus. I'm actually thinking about it now you can because Zeus's weapon is a harpoon or a lightning bolt which he would throw. So this one's a bit strange but you could link that to Zeus. So I think that actually maybe these statues aren't related to perks and actually they're related to these special weapons. Somehow we do something for these gods, I don't know, and in return they reward us with our special weapons. So there we go, that is 
is a full breakdown of the new trailer. Hopefully you have enjoyed. Definitely let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. If there's anything else you've spotted, make sure you drop a like rating on the video if you have enjoyed. Also, subscribe for more Zombies videos on the channel. And of course, we'll see you guys in the next video. Until then, goodbye.